All right, hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of Zoo School. Today is Meet an Animal Friend Friday and it's also a question and answer. So as I'm talking about our friend here, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments and I'll try to answer those for you in a few minutes. So our ambassador animal friend that I brought out to you all today is one of my favorites. Her name is Askew. And Askew is an Aldabra giant tortoise. So she gets that name because of where she's from. So Aldabra tortoises are from the island of Aldabra off the east coast of Africa, just north of Madagascar. They are called giant tortoises for a lot of reasons. So you may be looking at Askew and you're like, she's not that giant right now. And you're right. Askew is a teenager right now. So she has a lot of growing to do. But the main reason why Aldabra tortoises are called giant is because of their giant size. So they can actually get to be about a hundred and um, about over 500 pounds. And Askew here is only about 30 pounds. So she has a lot of growing left to do. They're also giant because of their lifespan. They have a giant lifespan. So they can actually live to be about 150 years old. Um, that's a kind of an estimate. We aren't 100% sure because they live so long. They usually live longer than their human caretakers. So we aren't 100% sure, but it's estimated to be about 150 years old. Aldabra tortoises also have a giant personality. They're extremely social. They like to be with other Aldabra tortoises and in human care, they love to create a bond with the people taking care of them as well. So Askew is housed here in our education department, but whenever we take care of her, she loves following us around. She walks up to us to get scratches. Um, they're very, very social animals. So turtles and tortoises are also reptiles so there's a few things that all reptiles have in common when we think of reptiles a lot of times we think of snakes and lizards but turtles and tortoises also follow into that category so one thing they have in common is that all reptiles have scales and tortoises have a special type of scale called a scute so when you look at their shells you see these layers of scutes on their shell those are their scales. They also all have a vertebrae or a backbone. So a lot of times you look at turtles and tortoises and you're like, they have a shell, they don't have a backbone. They actually have a backbone that runs all the way down the top of their shell that gives them that structural support that they need. Reptiles also all lay eggs. So um, she's gonna lay eggs in order to produce offspring and then they are all ectothermic. So ectothermic means that they can't regulate their own body temperature. So they, um, unlike us, like if, if we go outside and it's a cold day, we may start to shiver. Or if we go outside and it's a really warm day, we may start to sweat to help cool us off. Reptiles like a skew can't do that. So they actually have to kind of move and adapt to their surroundings in order to maintain a good body temperature. You also may be wondering, turtles, tortoises, how do you tell the difference between the two? That's a great question. So turtles and tortoises can mainly be told, you can tell the difference, was, whereas a tortoise has a dome-shaped shell. So you see here how a skew kind of goes up and then back down. Turtles, for the most part, have a really flat shell. Tortoises also mainly dwell on land where most turtles prefer to be in water and they're both specially adapted for where they live. So tortoises, um, because they live on land, you can see they have these long legs that have kind of claws at the end. They're great for digging in mud. Aldabra tortoises love to play and dig around in mud. Helps keep the mosquitoes off of them. Um, turtles usually have webbed legs or um, feet so their webbed feet will help them in swimming we are having a quick I'm gonna get another phone I'm having trouble seeing the questions pop up right now <laughs> one second friends we'll enjoy a skew as I fix our moment here I don't know how to respond to that thanks Siri Telling me which friends I have are watching it. Oh. 
Okay, friends. Loving her grass. Yeah, she is. So sweet. Okay, we'll zoom back out on everybody. Here we go. How long do these Aldabra tortoises live? We're back, friends. Sorry about the <laughs> quick issue there. How long do they live? Well, that is a great question. Um, Aldabra tortoises are thought to live around 150 years old. Um, we have an exhibit at the zoo with Aldabra, tor Aldabra tortoises in it. And um, one of ours is really, really old. We think he's about a little bit over 120 years old. So he's a little bit of an older guy. A skew here hatched at the Tulsa Zoo in 2006. So she's um, about 14 years old. So she has a lot of life left to live. How much water do you think they drink per week? How much water do they drink per week? You know, that's a great question. I'm not 100% sure exactly how much. Um, they can go extended periods of time without food and water and still be able to survive. Um, a skew has a really big bowl that we fill every day. It's hard to tell exactly how much she drinks out of it because she really likes to get in it and play in the water. Um, but that's a great question. So is a box turtle really a tortoise? So a box turtle is one of those exceptions. They're considered a turtle, but they actually have a lot of characteristics of a tortoise and that they have a little bit of a more raised shell. They don't have webbed feet. They dig in the mud. So that is one of the exceptions to a turtle. How long do these Aldabra tortoises live? How long do they live? So about 150 years is our best guess for how long they live. How old is this tortoise? So a skew hatched here in 2006 is a part of our Aldabra breeding program. Um, so she is about 14 years old right now. What is her favorite color? Oh, what's her favorite color? Another great question. So um, uh, Aldabra tortoises tend to really gravitate towards red things. So it's thought to be that they like red. Um, one of her favorite foods is watermelon. They love watermelon and it's that bright red color. They go right for it. So if I had to guess without being able to actually ask a skew, I would say her favorite color is red. How much does the biggest one weigh versus the smaller ones? So the oldest or the, the largest tortoise I think that's been on record was over 600 pounds. Um, that was a really, really big male Aldabra tortoise. Um, they kind of depending on how old they are. So a skew here, like I said, weighs about 30 pounds, um, but they can be hundreds of pounds as well. What does she like to eat besides grass? So you'll notice, what does she like to eat besides grass? She is grazing right now. Aldabra tortoises are grazers. Um, she loves especially the clovers that are in grass. Those are kind of her favorites. Um, every few days we give her a salad with different types of kind of leafy greens in it. And every once in a while she'll get kind of a special thing like carrots. She loves carrots. Um, I mentioned she really likes watermelon as well. So those are kind of her favorite foods. Oh, this is a fun one. Is she ticklish? Is she ticklish? That's a great question. So I mentioned earlier that a skew is really bonded to us and we like to give her attention and um, kind of make her feel really special and take good care of her. And one of the favorite things that she loves is tortoise scratches. So she loves it when we scratch her shell. Um, so if I do so, typically she'll kind of start doing what we like to call tortoise wiggles, where she lifts her shell up and she usually will kind of shake it back and forth. She loves tortoise wiggles. She's pretty <laughs> focused on eating right now, but here we go a little bit. There's some tortoise wiggles. <laughs> 
So this is all part of our daily care that we that we give them. They all our animals have specialized enrichment plans to make sure that they're getting all of their needs met. And one of the special enrichment things we give them is called human contact. So whenever we give a skew human contact enrichment, it's usually us outside with her, giving her scratches. We have a brush. We like to brush her shell as well. She really likes that. Um, just things to make sure that all her needs are, are being met. How many eggs can she lay at a time? How many eggs can Aldabra tortoises lay? So it depends. Um, typically on the lower end, they're gonna lay about five eggs. And then on the upper end, it'll be about 20 eggs. Um, and it just kind of depends on the tortoise and how many tortoises are around. The more tortoises that are there, usually the less um, frequent they'll lay. Um, Askew's never laid eggs before, um, but we do have a really successful Aldabra breeding program here at the zoo, um, and we've had a lot of offspring, um, one of which Askew has a sister here. Um, her name's Mud Princess, and she's actually one of the Aldabras that you can typically find on exhibit here at the zoo. How did she get her name? How did Askew get her name? That's a great question. So Askew for being as old as she is, is actually pretty small. Um, she should be a lot bigger than she is. Um, and one of those reasons is she hatched with a little bit of a um, shell abnormality. And if you look on the top of her shell, you see she has a little bit of an ab abnormality in her scoots at, down here. And then she has a little bit of a crack in her shell right here. Um, we aren't 100% sure why and what caused that. It just happens sometimes. So um, that is how she got her name askew because this little crack and then this little abnormality down here. But it hasn't affected her at all um, to, to our knowledge. She is very, very happy, very healthy. Um, she's just growing a little slower than a normal Aldabra would. Does she have a favorite flower? Does she have a favorite flower? So um, she likes I kind of said she likes the clovers. Those seem to be her favorite. Um, every once in a while, she'll... All right. Well, I think... Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. friend Friday here with Askew. I had a great time, and I know Askew did too. Um, and we look forward to seeing you again next week for Zoo School. Bye.